Hey guys, Brad Duct Tape Hale here with four Five Nights at Freddy's five sister location. Alright, let's continue on to night three. Daddy just once let me go play with her. She's so pretty and shiny. Didn't you make her just for me? That he did. That he did. Welcome back to another pivotal night of your thriving new career where you get to really ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? What would my friends say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? We understand the stresses of a new job and we're here for you. To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we offer several musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. We offer contemporary jazz, classical, rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Using the keypad below, please type the first few letters of the musical selection you would prefer. Well, I have a feeling I'm not going to get anything near what I want, so let's go with it. It seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for selecting Casual Bongos. Uh... Now that your elevator experience has been customized to your needs and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, your pay has been decreased by a substantial amount. What? Please enjoy the rest of your descent. I swear I'm either playing Stanley Parable or Portal because the amount of sass I'm getting from this computer. Here we go, night three. That damn bongo music. Due to unforeseen malfunctions from today's shows, your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may not be skilled enough to perform. It became necessary for technicians to attempt to disconnect Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. Let's check on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. Great, it looks like everything is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. It's important to make sure she's on her stage before entering. Ah! Uh... Great, it looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. There is no need to check on Baby tonight. Please refrain from entering unauthorized areas. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. All right, I know this is a way to a secret, so we're going to go and explore this. Motion trigger, circus gallery vent. Okay. She's supposed to be talking to me. Did you know that I was on stage once? There we go. It wasn't for very long. Only one day. What a wonderful day, though. I was in a small room with balloons and a few tables. No one sat at the tables, though. But children would run in and out. Some were afraid of me. Others enjoyed my songs. Music was always coming from somewhere else down a hall. 
I would always count the children. I'm not sure why. I was always acutely aware of how many there were in the room with me. Two, then three, then two, then three, then four, then two, then none. They usually played together in groups of two or three. I was covered in glitter. I smelled like birthday cake. There were two, then three, then five, then four. I can do something special. Did you know that? I can make ice cream. Although I only did it once. There were four, then three, then two, then one. Something happened when there was one. A little girl, standing by herself. I was no longer myself. And I stopped singing. My stomach opened, and there was ice cream. I couldn't move, at least, not until she stepped closer. There was screaming for a moment, but only for a moment. Then other children rushed in again, but they couldn't hear her over the sounds of their own excitement. I still hear her sometimes. Why did that happen? Okay, so if you guys saw my head dipping down, I was writing down the number she was giving because if I believe correctly, you're going to get access to a keypad later that allows you to input those for secret items because knowing Scott, uh, he does that often. Okay, so... Motion trigger, circus gallery vent. We now have the fun of going through Foxy. And yes, I have watched ahead. <clears throat> All right, so I am going to show you guys this. <laughs> you know how in the original Five Nights at Freddy's you can squeeze Freddy's nose? You can do it with these, too. Okay? That's a crying baby. No, not that. <laughs> And he doesn't do anything. Okay. <sighs> All right. Monitorium maintenance vent opened. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. Okay. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. Uh... Okay, it's charged. It makes the charging sound like an old camera. Now, it's not confirmed, but they do say the fact that you have to technically wait for it to fully recharge so Foxy can't hear you over it. This is super nerve-wracking. Alright. We're doing good so far.
Yes! Yes, we made it through. Motion trigger, parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. Great! Now locate the button under his left cheek and press it. Great! Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Ah, okay, I see it. Great! Now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. Good job! Huh. The face plates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Excellent! The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Great work! You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Where are you at, you little jackass? There you are. There's a trick. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. What am I doing wrong? Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. There you are. There you are. Fuck! Damn it. It's kind of hard to focus in on him. All right, all right. are they going to make me run across Foxy's room again? Son of a bitch. Motion trigger, parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. 
Great. Now locate the button under his left cheek and press it. Okay. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. Good job. The face plates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Excellent. The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Great work. You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Got it! Great job. You've acquired both power modules. This completes your tasks for the night. Please exit the building through Funtime Auditorium, and we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Alright. Huh. I think the trick is, is that when you hear Foxy rustling around is you're not supposed to make the flash. Because I have seen people do the flash with that, and Foxy will become alerted to your position. Kind of like how when you had Ballora, where you made too much movement and you heard her sound. Well, guys, that's all we got for right now. Be still and quiet. You've been sleeping for quite a while. I think they noticed that you never left the building last night. The cameras were searching for you, but they couldn't find you. I have you hidden too well. Alright guys, that's all we got for tonight. Thank you all for watching and we'll continue on with night four. Bye bye! <laughs>